I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome at age 10. I'm now going on 44 years of age. So I've had it, you know, I've suffered the symptoms and the associated disorders for 34 years. I'm 12 months post-surgery now and absolutely feeling fantastic. I'm the first to admit that my, my Tourette's was sort of on a moderate to, to severe scale. So it wasn't in its severest form, it's quite debilitating and quite awful. I just learned managing strategies, whether it's you know positive self-talk and just trying to go for a walk when you're ticking too loudly and you know, try and cool off and just calm down a little bit in a stressful type situation. I guess the important thing is for me personally was to let educators, people around me, family members know what I had and what I suffered from and just trying to overcome the embarrassment of people laughing at you and teasing you and bullying you in a high school or a primary school situation. In my case, look, DBS has been hugely successful. Now, having said that, we're all individuals. Although we might suffer a similar disorder, we are all individuals and therefore all different, okay? Now, I'm not a doctor, I don't profess to be, but DBS is not for everybody. Your medical specialist will explain that to you quite readily, okay? For me, it's been highly successful, as I mentioned earlier, I've mentioned that a few times. For someone else, it may not be as successful, and you, they will explain that to you, but look, all, my advice to someone watching this with Tourette's syndrome, thinking, well, it's been successful for Tony, should I give it a go? Before you give it a go, speak to a neurosurgeon, get his or her opinion, get proper, properly evaluated and diagnosed. I guess the, the important thing to remember is, you know, we are all individuals and if you're going to go down this path, first of all, get informed, it's, cru it's crucial. Go and see your GP, explain it to he or she, they'll then, if they think it's necessary, refer you to the appropriate medical personnel, the neurosurgeons who deal with this sort of issue on a regular basis, they will assess you. I guess my advice to everyone, anyone watching this out there with a similar disorder to mine, get informed, get it proper, properly assessed and then go from there. I mean, I had to wait, I mean, I went through the public system, so I waited around oh, 600, I think, odd days before my surgery came around. But, you know, there's plenty of time to do a lot of thinking and a lot of pondering and a lot of, you know, soul searching. But do get assessed properly is my advice to anyone out there. It may not be for you, but it's always worth asking the question, I guess. Now, the stimulator controller, or as it's more commonly known, the remote control, I guess you could say, you know, it, it gives you some leverage. Or the, the neurologist will program that, so you obviously take that to him or her with you at your next visit. They give you, you, I guess it's pretty difficult to explain if I don't have it here with me, which I don't, I'm sorry. The remote control, you, you can actually turn up one or either side of your brain and in close collaboration, of course, with your neurologist. So if your neurologist says, says to me, Tony, I want you to give, take one click on each side of your brain once a week for two weeks, or whatever the instruction, it may be a similar instruction or a different one, you should adhere to that strictly because, of course, you know, they are the specialists in the field, so that's what I recommend people do. It is pretty much a journey. I mean, it, it's been a 12-month journey for me, or even prior to that, two or three year journey by the time I had my visit, initial visit with the neurosurgeon to surgery and now I'm tw almost 12 months post-surgery. What people need to understand is, it's not like what you see on the telly. DBS, what people need to understand is a treatment for this condition, or for various conditions, in my case Tourette's of course. It isn't a cure. It's never been listed as a cure and no decent and uh, knowledgeable medical personnel will tell you it's a cure because it simply isn't. It is a, it's a journey and for me it's been highly successful and if I'm repeating it I apologise but I do need to stress it may not be for everyone and it may not be as successful for some people as it was for me. I'm now 12 months out from surgery, post-surgery and prior to surgery I was taking six tablets a day. Two in the morning, two in the afternoon and two upon retiring for bed at night time. Now all I'm taking per day is half a tablet. Prior to surgery, uh, because the, the side of, main side effect of medication or side effects were the drow severe drowsiness and the weight gain. Prior to surgery, I was of course very, very drowsy all the time and 110 kilograms in weight, whereby now, as you can see, I've, and I haven't eaten any differently, changed my diet or exercised more or more regularly by being off that medication, 33 kilos of weight has shed off my body and I now weigh around 77 kilograms. Now that I've lost all that weight and I'm off the medication pretty much apart from that half that I take 
in the morning, yeah, life's changed in many, many ways. For example, now the kids won't any, you never hear my children say to the twins, say to me, Dad, get off the couch and come and kick the footy with us. Dad, get off the couch and take us swimming. Dad, can you come and get us from school? Because first thing in the morning, 6.30, I'm out of bed, bouncing out of bed, you know, taking the kids to school, getting them dressed, getting their breakfast, interacting with them. And it's made for a much happier family and a much happier person in myself as well. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, you know, my wife's even more, the marriage is stabilized more, enjoying the marriage more because I can work there, go out and work and earn an honest dollar if you like. Whereas prior to surgery, working with the OCD in the head, not possible really. Now, with all that disappearing, no more drowsiness, fit as a fiddle, I can go out and, and work. And I work as a workplace trainer and assessor, and I'm really enjoying that very much too. And studying uh, part-time as well, which is a great thrill for me because again, prior to surgery, wouldn't have been possible. I guess the question is, would I do it again? Absolutely. If I could have that, that, that benefit, which is impossible, I guess, of the old crystal ball type analogy, look into it and say, yep, look at Tony, 12 months down the track, he's going to be as fit as a fiddle, he's going to be leaner, and he's going to be healthy and well and fit and good. I'd go through it a million times over, just to, if I could have the same results each time, definitely. I know I don't use, and I don't use that statement or, or, or verbalize that to you lightly. I'd do it again in a heartbeat if I could be guaranteed the same results I've been guaranteed this time, absolutely. For more information about deep brain stimulation, visit www.deepbrainstimulation.com.au or phone 1300 773 247.